This video is about uh, Visio 2003-2007 electrical systems drawing. Uh, this is part 7 concerning adding sheets and entering data. Uh, this is basically where we left off, the floor plan. And uh, let me consider that um, this is a, a motel that we're adding a fire alarm system for. And there's an identical floor uh, right above this one. So we're going to add another page to this drawing copy uh, this floor plan under that one. So we go down to the uh, page tab, right click, uh, insert page, and just leave the defaults there. And then um, we'll go back to page one and we like to rename these so they mean a little something more. Right click on the page tab and uh, this drop down menu brings gives me an option of rename page. And I'm going to call this floor one, and I'll do the same thing with page two, and call that floor two. Okay, now back on floor one, before I can copy this, I want to go up to my layers and uh, unlock the uh, CAD drawing and the room numbers. And then I'm going to select the whole thing and go to control C to copy it. Go over to uh, floor two and uh, control V. Now I'll go back to the uh, floor one drawing and I'm going to relock both of those layers. And then I'm going to go to the floor two drawing. And here I am going to relock the building CAD layer, but not the room numbers quite yet. Now we'll zoom in a little bit. And uh, of course, these are now the wrong room numbers, but they happen to correspond pretty much to the ones below. And what I'm going to do here is uh, select all the room numbers, which we put in a separate layer. So I'm going to edit, uh, select by type, uh, option to select by layer, and we're going to select room numbers. Now we've selected all of those, and we're going to do a replacement, edit, replace, and here we're going to uh, find one zero and replace it with to zero, and we're going to do this just in the current selection. I'm going to hit replace all, and it's done a nice job of changing my room numbers. Just going to scroll through here and see that it all worked, and it worked good everywhere except for room 110, where it changed the 10 into a 20. I'll go in here and make that uh, 210. So that was a way to, to do a fairly quick job of changing those room numbers. Now I'm going to remember to uh, go in here and lock the room numbers so that they stay in place. Um, our next step after that is going to be to uh, start entering data for these devices. And in order to do that, uh, we're going to open up the shape data window and we'll take a look at this uh, smoke detector and we'll see the fields. We have circuit, uh, device ID, and uh, room number. Now the room numbers are going to have to be done uh, one at a time as well as the device IDs, but we can get a little bit of a head start here on the circuits. Uh, my initiating devices, uh, it's a small building, uh, we're going to all be on one circuit and uh, so I'm going to have a I'm going to call that circuit uh, M1 so what I will do is I'm going to go to floor 1 and uh, here I will select uh, all of my um, initiating devices select by type layer fire alarm initiating devices and then I'm going to put in for the circuit on that M1. 
and you'll see that all the um, names of the M1 has showed up and this is on all my initiating devices. Now on my signaling devices uh, I might have two circuits in this case in which case uh, I'm going now to select uh, signaling devices so selecting by type layer signaling devices and now I'm going to put in this is the first floor put in circuit S1 and you see that S1 showed up on my signaling devices now we'll go to uh, our second floor drawing and uh, here we're going to do basically the same thing we'll select all the initiating devices and here we're going to put those on circuit M1 and then we'll select our, our signaling devices and these are going to go on circuit S2 and uh, one other feature here is the fact that uh, we're not going to have any device IDs on our uh, signaling devices because uh, they're going to be non-addressable so I'm just going to go in there and um, delete device ID on my signaling devices so you see how those signaling devices uh, lost that, that part of the identification Okay, I'm going to go back and uh, do that same thing on my signaling devices on the first floor. And that's pretty much taken care of that. Okay, now we start actually entering uh, some data and this will be pretty much done the same for everything in here uh, you can get at least a start on it so I'm going to look at this first room I have a smoke uh, detector in here and this is going to be my first device you want to keep a list of device numbers so you don't get duplicates and then I'm going to put in the room number room 100 then um, when I go over here to um, room 101, I'm going to take a little shortcut, I'm going to hit the control key and I'm going to select all the devices in that room and I'm going to put the room number in so that'll get all of those at once for me and then I'm going to go and actually put in my device numbers so this is 102 this will be 103 And then I'm going to hit my pull station out here, and this is going to be device ID 104. Of course, these don't have to be in a row, but I'm just I'm doing it this way. And for my room number, I'm going to put uh, exterior ext. And that's the basic uh, process for putting the data in. We'll go down the whole floor plan. Uh, do this uh, with all the rooms. We should end up with uh, identification in all of them having the uh, circuit and the room number. And uh, we continue that until uh, we've completed doing the entire drawing. And basically, uh, that's the end of uh, the data entry section. Uh, we'll see what we're going to do with this data in the next video.